So we've looked at bending a 15 millimeter diameter pipe. We're going to do our 22 millimeter pipe now. 22 millimeter is a heavier gauge and a thicker uh, diameter of pipe. Um, and it's a little bit harder work in the bending machine. But the method is exactly the same. Um, so there's our drawing and there's our 90 degree bend in 22 millimeter. And we can see from our drawing that it is 250 millimeters by 250 millimeters. That's the dimensions that we're aiming to achieve. And so we've marked that out on our template. Um, and so that would tell us that we need a piece of pipe 500 millimeters uh, in order to achieve um, our 250 each side. So I'm just going to cut a piece at 500. Um, and this time I'll use a pipe slice instead of the pipe cutter. So again, with the slice, on the center line of the slice, the, there's a little slot that tells you the center line, and there's a cutting wheel. And that cutting lane, wheel is exactly in the center of our slice. So we need to line up our mark using the center line and make sure that it's accurately on our center line. And the same thing, you'll know if your pipe slice is located correctly on the pipe, because it will sit on the pipe and not fall off. If it falls off, you haven't got it on correctly. Now, I'm going to put my gloves on for this because when you're cutting, you have to be gripping the pipe quite tightly. And also, as I've told you, you shouldn't be working with metals without gloves because there's a chance over time you will contract dermatitis. So, um, with the slice, you can go either way, and the slice will usually tell you which way it prefers to go on the tension. But you just turn the wheel um, until it cuts through the pipe. And there's our pipe cut. And just check you've got the right end, that you haven't picked up the wrong end. Just have a quick check again. Yes, that's my 500. So that's my 500 millimeter pipe. We're going to bend it to 90 degrees. We've got our 90 degree angle finder set. Don't assume something is correctly marked out or measured, particularly if you didn't do it, so check it. And that is, yes, that's bang on 250 millimeters. So I need to locate my pipe right on the back of that stop. And I need to put a mark. And I'm going to use a pencil rather than a Sharpie. Pencil is a much thinner line and a much more accurate line. So there's my center line mark. You can put a little C in it so you don't forget. And then we need to measure back. But it's a different measurement for 22 millimeter. So using our McKeon's table for 22 millimeter on a 90 degree bend, it's going to grow even more. We're going to measure back 100 millimeters. And it's quite counterintuitive to think it's going to grow by that much, but it does. So we're going to measure back 150, uh, sorry, 100 millimeters using our steel rule so we can get it accurately on our 100 millimeter mark and put our mark. And this is, again, we need to make sure this one particularly we can see all the way around in the machine. So I'm just going to transfer that right around the pipe. And I'm going to put my little arrow on so I know that that's my back mark so I don't forget. Because you may be fabricating this outside and have walking into a building to actually bend it or fit it. So you need to have little marks and, and uh, reminders so you don't forget. Then take it to your bending machine. And we're going to use the bottom former for this one, the 22. And we need also a 22 mil guide. And again, you must make sure it's the right guide. These metallic blue ones are the correct guides for these black handle bending machines. And the aqua green ones are the correct ones for the orange handle bending machines. Um, again, open up your pulling arm and put it in through the back. If you put it in through the back, that way you know your back mark is going to line up. So, I want to feed it in through the machine. and. Just pull the pulling arm round and line up your mark so that it's sitting on your back mark. And I can see there where my mark is. That's where I want my center line. Uh, and that's where the center line of the former is. So I can see by the time we bend that, it's going to end up more or less on that center. 
And so even though it seems strange that we're going so far back 100 millimeters, that's what we require. So again, slide your guide in and just put a bit of tension on. And before, always before you bend, just check your mark hasn't moved before you start to bend. It's just moved slightly, so I'm just going to put a bit of tension on there. 22 millimeter is much harder to bend than 15. And you need to, you won't be able to smoothly pull it round like you can with 15. So you can either put your hand on both pulling arms and just nudge it round like that, or you can stand at the back of the pulling arm and you can push it round using the weight of your body. Because it does take a bit of effort to bend 22 millimeter. Well, we're nowhere near 90 degrees yet. Um, so we need to pull that round. And I'm going to continue round until I think, just using my eye, I'm somewhere near. And just move you, slide the guide round a bit more until I think I'm somewhere near. And, but be very careful with 22 mil. It's a much thicker diameter pipe. If you overbend it, if we go over 90 degrees, then we have problems getting the bend back out again. So that's our 90 degrees. I'm just going to check it hasn't moved out of square as we've been walking around with it. No, it's fine. It's still at 90 degrees. So where I want this is on my center line. And I can see I've got a little bit of uh, um, um, further to go. So I'm just going to nudge it round and just nudge it a little bit at a time. Don't overdo it because there's a little bit of spring in it. That doesn't look too far off, so I'm going to take it out just to check. It's always better to remove it and check than find you've gone too far and then you're starting again. And, whoops, that's still just ever so slightly underbent. You can see there's a, there's, there's, there's a gap at the bottom there of about five millimeters. So we're about five millimeters underbent, which is good, better than being overbent. Put that back in. And again, making sure, so I'm going to put it back in the way it came out that way. Making sure that it goes right back into the former. If you don't, then you're going to damage the former. Uh, sorry, damage the bend. Now, I said we were probably about five millimeters off of 90, so I'm just going to give it one, two, and that will do. Don't want to overdo it, because if I overdo it, I'll have overbent it. If you overbend it by a couple of millimetres, it's not such an issue. Close our pulling arm. But if you overbend it by more than a couple of millimetres, then you are going to have a problem. And just putting it on my square, it's now, with that extra nudge, just ever so slightly overbent. Overbending, if I went further than that, would be a problem. But I can deal with that now just by putting it back in the bending machine and in the other end like that and I'll just uh, put my guide in as long as you've got the guide in and you've got a bit of tension on it then you can just literally pull it out ever so slightly until you're happy you've got your 90 degree bend and that looks better now so we need to put that onto our stop. Now you'll notice this one, it's not quite worked out exactly on center. It's okay on that dimension. Just gonna come round. That's our stop and we started from this stop. So you can see how much it's grown in the pipe. That's it on center line there. And so even though we've got our 250 millimeters both sides, it's grown by about 40 to 50 millimeters. And so that's because we've physically extruded the pipe. So that growth needs to be cut off to get our accurate bend. So we'd then get our pipe slice and we would chop that off so we've got our accurate cut. However, if we'd measured back in the wrong place or we'd measured forward, 
what would ha have happened is that one length would have been shorter and one length would have been longer. And so we wouldn't have been able to do anything with that. We'd be starting again. So I'm just going to trim that off. Just clear this out of the way. So there's our two 90 degrees. One in 15 mil, one in 22. 